Our planet is fragile, no doubt about it. A microscopic virus can paralyze the world within days. Yet we keep talking about resiliency. Resilient ecosystems don't shift so easily. Look at what we did to our oceans. I am a marine biologist. I spent countless hours diving in over 30 countries, seeing amazing coral reefs, kelp and mangrove forests. But I've also witnessed devastation. Reefs utterly destroyed by destructive fishing and by coastal construction of ports, marinas and expanding city waterfronts. We can't go back to business as usual. We need a green shift or a blue wave to swipe away our old norms of destructive over-exploitation of our ocean resources. With all the pain and sadness, COVID-19 has created a unique situation. With billions of people in lockdown, we're seeing evidence of wildlife reclaiming their habitat, marine life creeping into urban marine environments. We need to listen to our planet and act now to reset nature. Climate change impacts that we've brought onto ourselves will not go away so quickly. Faced with threats of extreme storminess and sea level rise, we have little choice but to armor our shorelines and protect coastal cities and small island communities. We are paving our coastlines with seawalls and breakwaters, creating concrete deserts in place of thriving coastal habitats. We can't keep protecting ourselves while destroying precious marine ecosystems. And this is a wake-up call. It's time to make a change and set new environmental standards for coastal and marine construction. We can't stop progress, but we can do it in a way that allows marine life to thrive, using nature-based solutions and ecological engineering to work with nature for humanity and nature as one. To achieve this, we must deploy innovation from the emerging blue tech and climate tech arena. There are sustainable solutions and we must use them and not cling into our old ways. Ocean health and human health are entwined, especially today. We're still finding cures for diseases from marine organisms, endless resources for alternative renewable energy from waves, tide, and microalgae. A healthy, diverse, and resilient ocean must be a part of our post-COVID world. This is a historic opportunity to restart nature and really build resilience into our communities, into our cities, and to our oceans.